With no doubt or iota of doubt, female representation and politics in governance in Nigeria is underrated and undermined. Since the independence of Nigeria as a nation, the number of female representation and politics has continued to be at the minimal and stagnant. The Dindari Foundation partners with Heinrich Ball Steve Tong in collaboration with the African Independent Television hosted a conference tagged From the Street to Parliament Strengthening Women Political Power in Nigeria. The conference, which took place in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, on the 20th of July 2021, reflected deeply on conversation around improving female participation in politics, decision making, as they have been long overdue and there is a need for reform in the country's system of government. The conference, which was anchored by Mrs. Ijeoma Osamo, paved the indulgence of other prestigious female panelists, including Inyen Anene, former Ministry of Women Affairs, Honorable Stella Omolethe, the APC National Women Leader, Hawa Shekaro, and others, highlighted keynote ideas that will help broaden the political space and increase women's political power, influence peculiar challenges women face in their journey to vying for offices in the society. Not enforce, or we can't, you know, pull out, you know, women on the on the people. And so we're interacting and engaging the people of the party, the members of the party, to come out for all the congresses we're going to be having from the world to the state to the local government and to national. We're asking women to come out, and we're also engaging the stakeholders to vote for women, you know, into all of those positions that are built. And I'm, I'm very setting because for most of the stakeholders meetings that have you know um have been hosted in most of the states we are having that um, positive vibes from the stakeholders they are willing to give women the shot and so we are also calling more women to come out to be actively involved but um positions are not set you know a la carte from your bedroom you have to come out you have to show your work you have to come out and um be among the voice that will speak and change the narrative for women of Nigeria. Today, Professor Moji Okome, Adja, Adja Saudatu Madi, Ambassador Koyo Toyo, Aisha Osori. These are, these are the academics uh, and many other research researchers that have used their research and their findings to enrich the literature on women's political participation and understanding of sin. It has helped us. They have helped us to put into words what we practitioners feel in our hearts but lack language to express. They have documented our experiences, analyzed them, explained them to us, what exactly we are facing in clear terms. And um, it has also helped to uh, obliterate the occasional self-doubt we have in our capacity and strength. The activists, they are too numerous to mention, without falling foul of missing important and significant activists that have helped in this area. You need money to run media. And um, for my platform, um, in as much as I try to report on things happening around the country, I report with a gendered lens. Now, um, reporting with a gendered lens will, may require more because I may need to dig deep and then see things from a, the perspective of a woman. We need people who can come out and support the media, especially to help drive narratives that can encourage young women like me to participate in politics. Um, so far, right now, we have, there's, we have women's radio, but if you have to take a census of how many young women actually follow on, you know, the program and things that happen there, you, you notice that the numbers are actually really low. So, um, media, we need, we, we have, we have, we have a lot to do. However, we need to be encouraged to to drive these narratives. Even in the media space, women, you don't find you don't find too many women, you know, heading or occupying or owning 
these things. And the little we have, the few that we can find seem to be running just on their own. So we need all the support we can get. The media can go a long way to helping women. Take, for example, if a woman has to run for office, from campaigns to election day, we could take our time as women in media to help project them. But we also need them to draw close to us. They are not very accessible, especially when they are in office. Mm. It's not easy accessing them. So um, for every time we make an attempt, we want them to know that we're actually there to work together for the people. So if the government is for the, of the people and it's for the people and you don't see women there, then I think we should redefine it to government of men for men. So the question of whether or not women need to participate in politics, I'm so sorry my mic, um, it's one that's very important and it's one that we must, um, we must ask ourselves and we must push, um, especially in this day and time, because representation is something that it's very important uh, and if we do not have women represent because you, you tend to look at um, situations I have to speak, I'll say here they mm. say chew and amateur say amateur so it's only women that would know the problems of other women so we talk about representation and then you look at the Senate you look at the House of Rep and then the numbers of women there are an ISO we don't have a, a lot of women we don't have enough women um, and so that's the question are you is it really a government of us and is it for for us if we do if we're not there right um so how do i intend to go into politics you know i feel like um when it comes to politics we're all politicians mm. um our our mere living um our mere existence as an act of politics and um i was reading a book um recently and then the argument in the book is the reason why we do not see many women in politics is because uh politics is often regarded as an as a formal system and we mo mostly see so many women involved in informal um activities and let me give you an example now if you look at um social revolutions especially in nigeria uh, if you look at um so many campaigns uh, in the civic space you would see that women are the ones in the forefront, women are the ones pushing, pushing for it. Uh, if you look at answers, I mean, nobody is going to talk about, like everybody is going to talk about the contributions of women uh, towards making it what it was. Uh, if you look at the recent program, Secure Our Lives, uh, you would see that these are women that are trying to see how can we get the data of people that are dying in this country being told what to do by the men so much so that they have become so comfortable so they don't have autonomy thank you very yes. much so i think that is what is playing out and what i've always told younger people uh coming up is to tell them that look don't ever give up first believe in yourself no matter the obstacle give it a try it's even it, 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 you know it's better you try and fail than you don't even try at all. Zainab Ahmed, Voice TV, Nigeria.